heard you talk about in interviews um, the adversities of being white and being a woman. <laughs> How have those two things affected the way you've done business and your approach on life as a whole? You know, I don't really know the answer to that. And I'm such a bad person to speak on that because I know that it had to have a tremendous effect on who I am and how I've done business. But I've always been somebody that set goals and then just went after them like, like, like full on, you know? So I've got blinders on if, if, being white and being female in this industry has held me back, I haven't seen it. I, I And I know it has. I mean, I'm not saying that it hasn't been difficult, but because I don't focus on it and because I don't really see it, I just, I make a list of what I have to do and I just bang it out. So if there are roadblocks or bumps in the road, they're just normal and I just go through them. It, it's it, it's never slowed me down. It's never made me whine. Um, I'm surprised you even said you heard me speak about it because I, you know, I never speak on panels about being white or female. I'm just not a good person to speak on it because I don't let stuff like that slow me down. So I don't want to belittle the fact that it exists because I know it exists. I mean, you know, just just common sense tells me it exists. But if it did impact my career, I don't see it. What advice or insights do you have for women in the industry? Like whether they're rappers, execs, white, black, Latina, doesn't matter. I guess the best advice I can give anybody coming into this industry, um, especially women, is to learn, learn the game before you step on the playing field. Learn who the players are, learn how it works. You know, there's enough research out there now that you can pretty much find out who's who and what's what and learn who the legitimate people are, do business with the people that are legitimate, don't do people, business with the people who are not. Um, I avoid fuckboys at all costs. Um, and just, you know, be true to yourself. Do, do what's right. Um, as a woman, also I've learned, you know, that it's better to, if you want to be treated professionally, act professionally. Don't go to an interview with your tits hanging out, with your ass showing. You know, all it does is move the focus from your brain to lower and you just don't need that. You need to be in a position in this business where you've got power and control. And um, although sex is one type of power, one type of control, it doesn't really have a place in this business.